So we were just in Tenerife and then this Mercedes was passing by, it was yellow, like the desert in that island. I'm like, freaking like, I took the camera and just snap a couple of photos and it was moving, so it wasn't easy. And I took a couple of shots that I really liked. But the problem is that it was packed of people behind with the car behind, it was such a mess. So I put myself there in Lightroom and Photoshop and I was able to transform this photo into this one and I think it looks pretty cool. So I thought, why not showing you guys how I edit this picture in Latin and Photoshop. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Simone and in this channel we explore strategies and tools to improve our photography and everything related about it. Obviously, I'm not rich enough to own such a car, I'd love to maybe in the future, but then if I want to become a car photographer, how do I make it happen if I don't own this car and I don't have friends that own this car? Well, you just shoot cars on the road. So the first thing that I always do when I snap photos, I put them into Lightroom and adjust colors and a little bit of lighting. Let's go. I shot this photo vertically, but I think could be better horizontally. Therefore, I'm just gonna crop it like so. There we go. And then we're gonna play around with maybe the exposure. So let's bring it up while decreasing the highlights. So we make sure to don't burn any part of the car and increasing the contrast as well, while also increasing the shadows. That's pretty nice. We're gonna decrease the texture, but increase the clarity to have that details really punch in in the photo then we're just gonna click three times here in the shadows mittens and highlighting the curves and bring up these blacks so they're more like gray and not pure blacks then decrease the shadows a little bit and increase the highlights here to increase a little bit more the contrast, then I wanna play around with the colors, make sure that there's no really blue here. The things that I want to avoid is this reflection right here and also the sky, I'm not a big fan of it. So I'm just gonna decrease the saturation quite a lot, I would say like so. Then play around with the yellows and oranges. Now be careful because the car is yellow, you don't want to mess up with the color of the car. But what I wanna do is just have that yellow punch in with the saturation and a little bit of blue luminance. Same thing happens with the oranges. So I don't want to mess up with the color of the car, but just increase the saturation and increase the luminance. And I think we're good to go. One more thing that I want to do is use a rigid filter in the bottom of the car to bring up all these details that are hidden for now. We're just going to reset the effect, increase the exposure, increase the contrast and increase the shadows. That's pretty good. Let's increase the clarity as well here in the bottom and I think we are good. Let's see the before and after, I think it's not bad. One more thing that I wanna do is use a filter here at the bottom just to decrease the exposure right there. So we double click on effect to reset it and it this, that's pretty nice. Just wanna have another rigid filter here because there are a little bit of highlights burned. So we're just gonna bring it a tiny bit down. That's it. That's good. Now, next thing that I wanna do is open it in Photoshop. So we double click, edit in, and go in Adobe Photoshop. Now, because I already edited this picture, I've already some layers, which I'm going to hide. And now we're gonna work on this one. So we cre create a copy of this so we can see the before and after afterwards. And the first thing that I wanna do is try to select the car in order to then remove everything that is behind in a much better way. So let's see if select subject works. Yeah, this is not a bad job. We need to fix a few details. So I'm just gonna use the polygonal lasso tool and remove this part of the image. There you go. Boom. So this is perfect. And then we need to add this part. So I'm just gonna stay in add and then I can click and hold the option to get going minus. So we're gonna leave it like this. There you go. And just finish the selection, including everything. I'm gonna speed up the process here because it's a little bit too boring. 
All right, so I finished to select this part right here. Here it doesn't have to be perfect because our goal is just to remove these people and therefore you want to have perfect only this area. So just to show you, we got this is the selection that I got. So in this layer, we made a mask Then we're gonna duplicate again the layer below to keep this one as a background. And we're gonna operate in this layer to remove uh, the car. So in this case, we're gonna select the car and then invert the selection with common shift I so that we can use the lasso tool with the intersection of selection and and make a selection around the car. Now we have only this car selected and I want to use whatever tool I can to try to remove it. So in this case, I'm just going to go and edit and try with content that we are fill, see what happens. Obviously it's a poor job, but I want to make sure to remove the car from the selection because I don't want any yellow to go into it. So this part shouldn't be green because Photoshop is using this green part as a reference for the AI to remove the selection. This is a much better job, but I want to remove also these stairs here because I don't want them. Let's see what happens. I think this is great. We're just going to remove this part and see what happens again. Let's remove this black here. See, I think this it's fine. So we're just going to click OK in a new layer. There you go. And now we want to fix all these areas. So we want to smoothen it up. And to do this, we're just going to merge the layers and then always operate on the external part of the car. So make sure to select the car and then invert the selection. We're going to use a spot healing brush and then just paint around this area. Maybe try to remove these people as well. See what happens. Yeah, that's a pretty good job. That's very nice. And then play around with these. That's pretty good. To remove this part, what you can do is that you can grab a sidewalk as I did anywhere. So you click OK, you put it on top, and then you're going to select only a little part of the image. So only this one right here. That looks good. Very nice. We're going to copy and paste, then delete this one and bring this layer here that's very nice then we click common t we hold command and we distort this one yep that's it maybe rotate it a tiny bit and put it on top here very nice we're gonna bring it below the car so it goes behind that's good and next thing you want to do is just filtering with a blur caution blur until it's exactly the same as the background and i think that's it. Very good. Now we just want to fix this part right here. So again, we select the car and we work on the outside. So yeah, we use a cloning tool and then paint there. Boom. That's a great result. Now, same thing to do with the people. We're just going to work outside of the car. Okay. And then with the timber clone, I think this looks fine. You just want to delay these people. There you go, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I think we're good. One thing that I really like is this is a little bit too bright. So I'm just gonna use an adjustment and decrease the brightness while having only a clipping mask here. So that looks fine, that looks fine. And I think that's it. So we got the before and we got the after. Not too bad, right? Now the next thing that you wanna do is try to make the car pop up even more using some dodge and burn. So make sure to work always and only on the car. So we're just gonna select the car and then we dodge and burn. We're gonna go around the external part and bring up all these highlights. In this case, I'm using an exposure 55 and targeting only highlights. So there you go. And this looks great already, boom. And we're gonna do in the top part as well. So we use still the dodge tool. We're targeting the highlights, exposure 60, that's fine. And then we bring up the logo in the front. And if you want also this part right here, but then you gotta be careful with these because some colors will pop up when we're dodging or burning too much an area. So the next thing that you want to do is that because I don't want to have these colors in the logo, we're going to use the sponge tool to desaturate. We get a flow 100, size pretty big, that's fine. And then we remove colors 
from this area because I don't like them. And that's it. The logo is popping up like crazy before and after for the logo. That's already a pretty nice result. One more thing that I want to do is that I want to darken this part of the image because as you can see, it's pretty dirty. So I want to eliminate. And to do this, I'm going to create a selection around the front part, around the glass. Okay, once I made the selection, I want to use the clone stamp to then use this dark part to darken the rest. That's it. Very good. And that's a pretty good result, I would say. So we got the before and the after on the on the front part is pretty good. Now, the picture looks great already, but there's one thing that we can do to make this photo stand out even more. And this is about turning on the car lights. How do we do this? Well, we have different options. The best option is using overlay, so external elements that you can add to the picture. And in this case, I'm using lights and rays from my Epic Overlay Pack. I'll leave down in the description below the link if you wanna have a look. And in this case, I'm probably gonna use light number eight and light number 19 and then I'm gonna drag them directly in the photo on top of everything. There you go. Now we have the two lights and everything that I need to do is just click on screen. Second uh, light, we're just gonna put it in screen as well. And then we're gonna put them where the car lights are. And that's pretty much it. One more thing that I just need to do. I just want to increase the blur in this layer because it's a little bit too neat for being a car light. That's it, we're just gonna put it maybe at seven. I think that's nice. And I want to redimension this one, uh, maybe like so, increase it. There you go, and put it here. And I think that's pretty much it. Two seconds to really make this picture stand out using overlays. Once again, if you wanna check out my epic overlays, I'll leave you the link down in the description. And this is the final result. This is the before and this is the after. In this tutorial, we use quite a few tricks in Photoshop, but if you are into Photoshop and Lightroom, I'm launching two new courses about them that you can purchase in Bundle for a special price. Even for these, I'll leave you the link down in the description, so feel free to check them out because they're packed of resources for a very tiny price. If you enjoyed this video, you're gonna enjoy also this playlist right here where I edit my Instagram photos just directly with you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.